So it all started with Mr. Ed challenging me to this stupid swarm competition. And then on top of that, he was making fun of my boxing. Don't, don't stop me. I don't even feel like you're listening to me right now. I'm gonna begin my morning under this magnificent magnolia tree that's putting out some new buds. I'm a lone ranger in this removal here, as I have been quite a few this year. Possible it's slowing down work some, slowing down business some, but it's just been a different season. All the colonies that I've removed this year have been really small. This little house here had two hives prior in this wall right here. The first one was removed by somebody who, according to the homeowner, kind of did a hack job, didn't properly do the repairs, allowing another swarm to come in the very next year and start building in the, in the same exact spot. My dad fixed that and now bees are back, but they're not back in the spot where he removed them. They've gone around on this side and they're coming in at the very base of the side and then going up and working from the top plate down. I may have a guest stop by, don't know yet, but it's gonna be a fairly easy removal. The homeowner has cleared the room for me and covered the furniture. Saving me quite a bit of work. All I got to do is cover that TV and the fan and the floor right here where I'm working and get busy cutting. This is about right here. That's the north side of the house, east side that is completely shaded through the morning. Wow, look at those flowers. Anyways, east side, east wall, you can tell this palm and whatever that other tree is, got this thing completely shaded through the morning so that wall's not getting hot. Plus, house is air conditioned. Now that I'm looking again with the infrared, I'm wondering if this thing didn't throw a swarm because last week, well, you see what, what the heat signature is. Last week, the heat signature was down here. Maybe a reduced number in there, who knows. It's a good thing this is clean because the armpit's tied right here. <laughs> this is concrete, concrete board. I thought I was gonna have enough cord. I'm gonna have to use an extension cord because otherwise I'm starting to lose angle. I might make a mess because this might be troweled concrete. Oh. That's what it's looking I hear him. You see him yet? Mm-hmm. Trial concrete over over gypsum board. And I gotta put that junk back. Lucky you. With probably a layer of wallpaper <laughs> on top of that. Dang. It's tiny. Yep. The heat signature on them came down to almost Where's here the other day. Right there? And this morning it was up here, so I didn't know if they had sworn out. And that was what was left, or if they just weren't tending combs yet. I was thinking I was gonna find combs down in here. But they fooled me. They fooled you. Stupid bees. <laughs> I'm just a little bit disappointed because uh, they're tiny. Yeah, it's not as 
What do we have? <laughs> I thought it was some kind of doorbell wire or something. It's a vine growing up through the, through the wall. I was glad I didn't cut it until I just discovered what it was. <laughs> Are you going to come take them out for me? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. All right. You know, they're Africanized. That's, yeah, that's, they look like it. These are about the most general little group of bees we've had in a little bit. So I don't know why they're so small. They've been in here at least a couple weeks. I don't even know if there's a queen in there with them. I would assume so, but they're just not growing. Tiny little group. I mean, not so tiny that they're not going to be a problem shortly, but they're size of a package bee box, something like that. See, this may be where they were when I looked at them first because the heat signature did come down here. You see all these little specks right here on the wall? Yep. These are wax from where they were hanging out as a cluster, as a swarm waiting to figure out where they were going to go. Um, they got to hang out in one spot for a little while to do that. So all these little wax specks on the boards, that's actually what space they were occupying to begin with, which is... Just in the middle so I don't drop concrete on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I already dropped a smoker across my nose last year. Don't worry Spread out. <laughs> no queen in that group. Yeah, let me go get home on her and show them. Now, how are we going to keep them from coming back? Well, I'm going to close that entrance on the outside. Okay. And when I cut those combs out, if there's any honey in it, yeah. I'll save it for you just so you can have a taste, but it's okay. not, not going to be much to it. Okay. Wow. Isn't that something? Mm. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Ed would be proud with the gloves <laughs> and the suit. Hey, Mr. Ed. There's nothing in that cone. Any eggs? Yeah, there's a few eggs. He's on the outsides. I said we can't find the queen behind the cones as we. So do the outsides like they're yeah, here? Just slowly. Uh, Slow to ease on the outside, but on the wall. Okay. If you pull into the whole group, sometimes you'll pull the group out, a, a bunch of them out away from the group, and they'll fall, and you have to wait on the walk back up the wall. Uh, if you need more vacuum, you can turn it up, or I can, whichever. So over just on the walls for right now? Yeah, you can get that front. She, she wouldn't be in that front cluster more than likely. And if you need to, you can pull that, that cleaning tool off, that crevice tool off, and just use the hose. This is so much better than the one that I tried to make and made bee soup out of. <laughs> now I won't have to sit down and cry. <laughs> Campbell's thick and chunky bee soup. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. <laughs> oh. I was so proud of myself making my own bee vacuum. Yeah, right. It didn't work. Ah. I still don't see her. I'm thankful they ain't got much of a place to run to. white one. <laughs> Concrete dust. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's all an albino or, bee. Or uh, um, gypsum dust. <laughs> that was Ashy Larry. <laughs> I 
home is so pretty. Yeah. No mama there. It's got a nibble of nectar in it, don't it? Yep, right there. We're not in a hurry, so if you need to, you can tap on them and make them move a little bit. Okay. So you don't suck her up in the back, if we hadn't already. All those ones on the two by four on the right hand side, on the left hand side. Yeah, get them. You can start picking those up, picking those. She's not there. She's not there. There she is, in the very bottom, in the very corner. The very back corner, she's covered up right now. But oh, wait. I can see her tail right yeah, there. Yeah, I see it too. Right. Well, I don't want to suck her up. Right here. Yep, yep. back in there, hidden now. You can suck up all these on the right hand side so you can know she's not there. Oh wait, is that her? No. This is so much fun. <laughs> We're on the hunt. Yeah, mama. There she is in the back. I see her. Right. There. Want the clip? Or can you get her with the clip? I don't know that I can get her without hurting her. You want to grab her? Wait, she covered back up. She's right in here, isn't she? Uh-huh. Pick up those ones out towards the outside. Right here? No, no, no. Out towards the outside. Right here? Right here? Or towards the inside. <laughs> okay. The ones right. that are by the front concrete board. Okay. This? Yeah. <laughs> that? Is that what you're yeah, talking yeah. about? Okay, all right. I'm making sure. Outside, inside, whatever it is. I know, yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure they were herding her up in here. They didn't. I thought that's where they were going to run. Mm -hmm. Look at all the wax bits they left. Though. They, were, they were clustered up in there for a little while before they built anything. Yes. Wonder why. Oh, another crack bee. I have a way about to. There she is. I see her shining, I think. She don't want to come out of that corner. No, she does not. We can suck her up already, I'm sure. No, she's... I've been watching for her. Oops. <laughs> Did I knock her down? I don't know. Does that hurt it, Phil? I don't think so. See, there's some crawling back up here. Saw her twice. Yeah. No, she's in there. How did I miss her? <laughs> we have a laying queen for sure. We got larvae and we got eggs, and we saw her. You probably saw her on video. Maybe not. She was a little hard to see. Well, she's definitely not in the wall. I've searched the wall with a flashlight. I'm thinking she might have got vacked, but I'm not certain. And we're gonna go outside and check the ground. I was looking at these through the window. 
I don't have any clue what they are, but they sure are vibrantly colored. They're beautiful. I don't know what they are either. Red flowers? Yeah. <laughs> We're done with this removal and just as a added measure to make sure we got the queen just come out here looking at the ground. I don't know what all that white is on the ground right there, but that's right at their entrance. We got them though. No queen out here, so she's in the vac because she's definitely not in that wall. There's a dozen bees in the wall. I can identify a queen down in the wall from a pretty good distance and she ain't in there. There's a dozen bees in there and, she, and none of them are a queen. There's two giant roaches in there with them. <laughs> but no queen. All right, let me tell you real quick what I think we ran into here. Right about here is the bottom of the wax flakes. See that little white spot right there? I've scraped it all off. But you can see right about there, approximately a foot and a half from the top plate is where the heat signature was showing when I was here a week ago just over a week ago rather. At that point, they thought the bees had been in here about a week. And so what I think happened here is that that was a cast swarm. And what a cast swarm is, is when a colony swarms, the first swarm is a primary swarm. They don't always swarm more than once, but when they do, the first swarm is a primary swarm. The old queen goes out with the primary swarm and it's always a, a bigger cluster of bees. The cast swarm is always going to be a smaller group of bees. It's always going to be a virgin queen. And they, they don't build fast. So what I think happened is they threw a cast swarm. They moved in there with a virgin queen. They had no reason to have anywhere for her to lay yet because she wasn't mated. So they it looks like they just hung out on, those, on the framing of that wall for days because there was some pretty significant wax flake chunks in there especially for a group that small but I guess by the time she got mated they started building comb I don't know why they wait that long I guess because she's not mated since they don't have a mated queen with them they have no reason to build comb but once she's mated they start building and I think that's what happened I think once she got mated they started building and giving her a place to lay because she didn't have a lot of place to lay but what she had was was fully laid up all that comb had larva and eggs in it, uh, mostly larva because they hadn't built built out enough for her to to continue laying. She'd laid all that up days ago. Ooh, I'm thankful we ain't having to stand in line. Everybody, just keep your distance. <laughs> he ain't even looking. Just walk right out there, buddy. <laughs> He's worked here a long time. He knows he runs this parking lot. Let me further clarify about cast swarms, primary swarms. I don't mean that a, a colony can't throw a second or a third primary swarm a year because it depends on the size of space they're working with, what kind of flow they're on or, or who's feeding them up or whatever. They can throw a couple primary swarms a year. When I say cast swarm, I'm talking about a swarm that comes almost immediately after a primary swarm. So they, they don't have enough time to get a queen mated for that same colony. Um, you know, if they mated a queen, built the colony up and swarmed again a month or two later, that's another primary swarm. A cast swarm is just uh, immediately after a primary or, uh, you know, right around the same time frame. I just pulled over here by this empty lot to uh, relieve myself. <laughs> I spotted somebody's swarm trap. And so I started looking around, I was like, ah, oh, maybe there's a bee tree that I spotted around here somewhere. This is the only thing I see that's a possibility. I don't see any activity on that or the swarm trap. I'm gonna go on over here and look at it and just see if anybody's been baiting it or if it's just been hanging here for a long time. It ain't brand new, but it's not in bad shape.
bungee's pretty fresh. It hasn't been hanging here too long, it don't look. Looks like it has caught a swarm before and there is one scout bee looking in it. So whoever it belongs to, good luck to you. This little group of bees is going to a community garden. Jennifer, who was with me earlier, has some high boxes over here in this little, uh, I think a three acre community garden. What's up, trash talker? What do you got on? You look like you're wearing a dress. <laughs> Cut down the sides for a ball or something. He's ready. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Mr. Football player. Oh, do you play ball? No. No, oh, I play okay. basketball. <laughs> oh, do you? Because I played ball. Really? Yeah, yeah. Long time ago. Man. I had bounce out here today. Have what? Bounce. 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 Yeah, there's oh. some some uh, television program for kids bounce. We're getting ready to dump these bees. Me and Gideon going to go through them and see if we can't find a queen real quick. Ain't that right, Gideon? Yep. Got Mr. James Franklin out here. He's the one that owns this community garden. Yep. Got, I'm, the, I'm the executive director. Got how many acres you got? Six acres. Six acres. And you said that's all, everything out here is full. Well, right now we got uh, about 100 raised beds and we're at over 90% occupancy. Is that is that a separate person for each raised bed? Um, we got a few that's got several, okay. but still, I mean, we there, we, good. we filled up to the rim. That's good. I saw mm -hmm. some people tending their gardens when I pulled in. Mm -hmm. And of course it's late, you can tell, the sun's fixing to set. Mm -hmm. We got these bees in this bag, we're gonna dump. We got some uh, painter's tarp right here that I just stuck under the edge of the box so we can dump, look for a queen, because this is a queen right box. This also is a queen right colony. We're getting on dark here though, and I can merge these queen, these uh, workers get them to walk in, but I need to pull that queen out of there because uh, this group will kill her. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to go through real quick. Oh, oh, one queen, right? What we're going to do is test their temperament right now because they've been in this back and they can get a little testy when they've been tied up in definitely, the back. The queen's definitely in that. You ready? Mm -hmm, definitely. Fishing to find out. Nope. I'm gonna set this down here and just let them start to walk. They're gonna start trying to walk towards that hive. But anyway, while they're spreading out, we're gonna look for the queen. I bet you there's, she's somewhere right there because they're all clustered around something. You got the right idea. See them all clustering around something? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. starting to walk. Yep, marching to the hive. Them all. March, march, march. Yeah. They're going a little fast. I'm having to try to keep my eye open. I'm looking both places for the queen. I don't want her to run past me. Well, you got three eyes on looking for her. Three sets of eyes. Uh-huh. I got three, three eyes. eyes. <laughs> you got three eyes, Mr. Randy. I got three eyes on her. Is that her? Nope. It's a big bee. Here they all come. I see a drone in there.
that hurt? Death match going on down here on the side. What's that? It's a bee from this colony trying to run that colony off. Which one? That one? That one that just went airborne. Oh, uh, and then just landed? Mm hmm. Watch him. Oh, I see him. Get out of here! Break it up. Break it up. <laughs> Why are they all like rich? Mm -hmm. Just a second ago. How they do. No, no queen. You can see the mosquitoes around your head. I uh, know. No. They're all over my legs. Watch your knees, kid, so you don't crawl mm -hmm. on top of her. Put your hand down. Yeah. Well, we got a beetle on the march, too. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Go the other way. <laughs> Just bite. Here, you want to hold the light for a second? Or you want to dump? No, you can dump. <laughs> you ready? Mm-hmm. Back up. Let me see the light for a second. I need to look in the bucket. Okay. I ain't going to operate the light. Don't let her get past us up here, though. There she is, right there. For, oh, that's a drone. Oh, <laughs> looking for a big one. Get in, you're freaking me out, man. <laughs> well, maybe, she, maybe she did fall on that wall. I don't know. Maybe she did. I sure couldn't see her in the wall though. She fell, mm -hmm. she fell in that wall. She went outside and took off, which would be uncharacteristic. Maybe she's already in this hive and they'll have them a death match. <laughs> well, I know for a fact I saw a queen up in that wall, so either we dropped her somehow or she done walked past us. And we had a pretty good view of all of them, so that would have been hard for her to do. Okay, I'm getting to get up big time. All right. Yep. Daddy! I didn't see it. <laughs> Off of. We're done with that little chore. Now I'm going to have to ride halfway home with the windows down because the mosquitoes were eating me up, man. It was bad out there. Got a bunch of them following me in the truck. So hopefully I can clear them out before I get to the highway. Day two, doing some finish work on this house. About to wash my mud pans out. Who is you, the mass marauder? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the blue. No, this this whole house needs caulk. There's no questions to it. All right. And the reason is, it's the type because that's as best as shingles there. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you see how they do that wavy thing? Uh huh. Well, at the bottom they got a straight edge. You know, every wavy. time they get up, they got a gap. Every every side. I I filled all this. Although that's the way you seen me. Yeah. And I was peeling it instead of strips this way. Yeah. I actually was taking it. And fanning it. it. Well, making it thinner sheets of it. Yeah. And got all I could, but there's gaps and there's termite damage over there somewhere too. Yeah. I had it in there and it's just the termite bodies falling out of it. Really? All right, well, Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, Lowe's is only a couple miles away. Yeah, it's closer. This glove hit a piece of glass down there. And didn't get me, but it got the glove. So that's all wax on the ground down there? Yeah, that's a pile of wax. <laughs> they had to be cleaning out an old, an old one or something. I don't know, I didn't see any old tracks. But there was a lot of beading on the wood where they had just been hanging out and uh, leaving wax spots. They must have been just them dropping and not building yet. Maybe. It looked like a pile of sand, like you said, but when I got to it and pulled it apart and touched it, it stuck together. Sand don't do that. What kind of tree is that? Come quite. I would say, just by the size of them. They're still mighty green. Is it the right time of year for kumquat? I think it's a little late for that, ain't it? 
I don't know, maybe it's something else. No, kumquats come out way, way later. Yeah, I was thinking they come out in the winter. Actually, some of these are big. Yeah, they could, right before winter really hits hard. Some of these are bigger than kumquats are. Jackson, she didn't mean it. Come back. Say, I gotta know who Patty is first. There he is. 